have some breaking news for you this morning with the announcement that Project Veritas, the group best known for using undercover techniques to expose some truly disturbing stories about uh, some of the richest and most powerful organisations in the world, well, they've parted ways with their founder and until recently CEO James O'Keefe. O'Keefe really is Project Veritas in the eyes of many. And before his departure, he addressed the group staff. Here is some of what he said. As a former board member told me 10 years ago, Project Veritas will never be stopped from the outside. It will only be because we stopped ourselves, right? I'll get to that too in a minute. Prophetic as it may be, that is exactly where we find ourselves in the situation today. A situation where I have been stripped of my authority as CEO and removed from the board of directors. I bet you didn't know that. I'll get to that in a minute. Contrary to what public statements may say. That's interesting, isn't it? He's saying basically, despite the heavy attacks against the group from authorities, from the mainstream media, it's being weakened from within. And he also explains what the next chapter might hold. But that conflict was even more fundamental and essentially boiled down to this, and my vision, I'm gonna paraphrase Howard Rourke, the architect, quote, I don't have, I don't build in order to have donors. I have donors in order to build. That's what I believed, and I felt like we had a conflict of visions. We measure our success in terms of what we produce, not just in terms of our wallets. That was a pretty fundamental conflict, I felt. Now imagine what a Project Veritas operation could do in Australia, Sophie, in exposing perhaps, I don't know, the inner workings of the ABC, uh, really how you can have a group of leftist activists using taxpayer funds to settle political scores, uh, launch vendettas, and then use taxpayer funds to settle defamation proceedings when someone has the resources to take legal action.